Chicago, Rock Island, and Pacific Railway. It was built in around 1915 as a boxcar, and uh, during World War II, uh, about 180 of these boxcars were converted to cabooses. So they shortened it, they took out sliding doors on the side, and made them into cabooses. And um, it's pretty rare because it's an outside steel structure. Um, you can see the, the iron bars on the outside, and so it's pretty unusual for caboose. We've worked with the Oklahoma Film and Music Commission. Uh, previously, they've come out here to scout for sites, and um, uh, what was the movie? Uh, Killer Inside Me was one of the movies, and they chose not to film out here, but uh, they are aware of, because we have a historic uh, 1905 depot as well as the car equipment. Uh, the Oklahoma Film and Music Commission told the director, Famaka Jansen, about it, and then she contacted us and she came out to look at it and really loved it. They're looking for uh, authentic and you know realistic and uh, it's you know it is what it is and um, I was like oh we'll clean it out on the inside and they're like no don't take anything from it. Plot is about um, a mother and son, the mother's a grifter, 12 year old son and I guess this is going to be um, another character in the movie that they're crashing with and they come to stay with them for a couple nights and uh, originally I think it was supposed to be in a mobile home but they decided that a caboose would be more interesting. <laughs> Filming is going to be the beginning of August. Um, they're probably going to be here for a couple days before that to um, do some work. Um, there's a section of the floor that needs to be replaced and for safety issues and, um, and then probably another day of set dressing before the movie and then it'll probably be a 12 hour day for the filming itself right. and we're going to pull it down to our siding just outside the museum and uh, set it up next to some old uh, boxcars and tank cars that we have. Mm -hmm.